Porsche Carrera Cup, Asia and Porsche Carrera Cup. Australia coming together this afternoon for two races. The first of those is lined up on the grid already. We've got the Pro-Ams from Porsche Carrera Cup Asia and we've got the Tag Her Carrera Challenge drivers from the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. Should be a fantastic battle. These guys have met once before down at Sydney Motorsport Park last year. Yep. I'm afraid we got it handed to us by the Aussies. So when I say we, my name's Andrew Coley and I'm here as the commentator for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. Alongside me, I've got Richard Crail, who is the commentator for Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. Expect banter and expect competition. Richard, looking forward to this. Game on already, Andrew. And you should see it in the paddock. You could cut the atmosphere with a cricket stump down there. It's <laughs> unbelievable. There's a bit of tension, a bit of feistiness amongst the competitors. Oh, these are going to be great races. Yeah, Spectacular. They should be. They should be. Later on this afternoon, we've got an overall race as well with uh, the top drivers from both of these championships. But as Richard said, expect fireworks from all the grids. Now, down on the grid, uh, reporting for us, we've got Virginia Ma, and with her right now, she has Michael Dreiser, who is the manager of One Make Series for Porsche. Let's have a chat. Michael, now this invitational race gives the drivers an opportunity to show their race craft. Well, as you can see, we have a fully packed grid of uh, exactly technical, identical 911 GT3 Cup cars. So uh, we will have uh, the driver making exactly the point here. Um, so because he's the he's really the, the difference. Yeah. Um, and uh, as you can see, we have uh, I think uh, quite a few ambitious um, what we call pro-am drivers. Uh, that doesn't mean that they uh, that they are not able or capable of what they are doing. They are really really well uh, trained and, and highly professional uh, in these cars. Mm -hmm. So um, it gives us it gives them a good opportunity to leave their, their business card in terms to show. What are they capable of doing? And I think also later on when we see the pro guys, um, that is also a, a possibility to show them or to, to show us, um, you know, maybe here we can find the next factory driver. And I know you're supposed to be impartial, but who do you think will win? I am impartial. Um, no, we, we try to be, of course, neutral as much as possible. Uh, I think we're very good at that. Um, and uh, look, we let the guys um, decide and uh, we are happy to hand over trophies and um, we, we, do not, uh, we do not work with any favourites. So let the best really win. That's the concept. Thank you, Michael. No <laughs> <laughs> Michael there, unwilling to commit. <laughs> unwilling to commit. I reckon we're going to, uh, we're going to hand it to you, Krause. This is uh, Asia all the way. Oh, I don't think you've got a, a hope in anything, <laughs> uh, Andrew Coley. <laughs> Dean Cook on pole, he's been... Terrific. This is a guy that's had a 13-year absence from the sport. Yeah, it's and pretty he's impressive. he's coming on pole position, and oh, I think that's pretty impressive. So well, we beat you 2-0 in Australia last year, so it, there would be nothing more satisfying than uh, us coming out on top here at Sepang. Well, we had a coin toss to decide the size of the grid, so if you're wondering what happens is we toss a coin. It was a specially made coin, very nice, with the logo for each of the championships on either side. I was responsible for the coin toss, and I lost it for... Uh, uh, Asia both times. So Australia basically get the inside line. There's Yui Tan who will be on pole as in at the front of the grid on the left for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. And uh, over on the right hand side of the grid, in fact in P3 is Stephen Grove. But here's the man, although he's not on pole, Dean Cook is on pole for Australia. He won both the races this weekend. Stephen Grove is with Virginia Mar now. Stephen, very exciting for the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia to leave uh, Australia for the first time for an invitational race. Yeah, it's great to be here. It was great in Sydney last year, and I'm glad they put the favour back for us, and it's game on now. Well, good luck at your race today. We're very excited to see the outcome. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I'm really, really looking forward. It should be super. Great. Thank you for your time. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, you said he's one of the most excited men on the grid. We did a little Facebook Live just a few minutes ago with, uh, with him, and we had, uh, who else do we have down there? Oh, we had Paul Tresseter, just to make it complicated, yes. an Australian driver Crazy. driving in yeah. Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. It's crazy and firmly on that side of the camp as well. He is so fired up. Gravy's biggest problem is that he got absolutely doused in champagne on the podium. So he was worried about the smell of his car during the race. Focus, Gravy. You've yeah, got to go win it, this first race. It's not a biggie. If you want more champagne, you have to deal with exactly the smell. Exactly right. Get amongst it. Uh, there's Evan Chen. So Evan Chen's had a bit of a torrid weekend. Um, him and Yui Tan are locked in a battle for the Pro-Am Championship. When I say locked, they were a point apart. Evan Chen then got disqualified from the first race this weekend because, due to a technical issue in scrutineering. He then came together with Yui Tan in the last race, which went to the stewards. We're not quite sure what the decision was on that. And then right at the end of the race, when Chen was looking likely to take the win and take the championship back, he dropped back with a problem on the last lap to P7. And that's before any possible penalty. So what a complicated weekend. But Pro-Am for us has been a superb championship so far this year and uh, I think it's going to be equally tight in the uh, Australian series as well. Uh, Yui Tan is with Virginia now. He's on pole for the Asia side of the grid. 
Yui, you had a great race yesterday. A disappointing start today, but uh, we're very excited for the Invitational race. You're in P2. Yep, I mean, it's uh, really nice to have these invitationals with the Australians. Over the years, uh, Korea Cup Asia has done a lot of great development, and we're all getting a little bit quicker. So it's nice to compare ourselves across the continent to another set of dudes, <laughs> and uh, we'll be looking to win this one today. Yes, well, we're still looking forward to, uh, to seeing how the race goes. Thank you so much. Perfect. Good Thank luck. You you, yep. you, you can tell there, he, there's some Australian in you. There is. So, of course, if Yui Tan wins, we claim it as our <laughs> oh, own. Oh, come on, man. We, we claim yeah. it as our own. He's from Adelaide in South Australia. It doesn't get much more Australian than that. <laughs> so the Australian cars, if you're wondering, are carrying a one in front of their standard number. So if you watch uh, a Porsche Carrera Cup Australia, you'll see on the left-hand side of the grid, they are running yellow numbers. Uh, at the rear of their side of the grid, you'll see there are some orange numbers. That's because there are only six drivers in the Tag Her Carrera Challenge uh, side of the grid, whereas we've got, uh, what have we got? Well, I can't count that quickly. 14, I think, on our side uh, for the Asia Series. So the remainders of the Asian Series line up behind the Australians. There you are running down the grid. We think we'll have a look at a full grid for you uh, once these guys head out onto the track for uh, a formation lap. The Australian guys have got to line up on the grid FIA style, which means bumpers up to the white line, not wheels, which is different from what they normally do. And, you know, all joking aside, that you, you've got to position it right or you get, you get a penalty. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, it's just as seriously judged in this race as it is a championship points paying race. We should mention they do get championship points for this race. They get 10. Every driver gets 10 points for taking to the start. So it's an encouragement for them to get them on the grid. Not that they really need it, no. uh, but they do get championship points. We've had titles decided in the past by less than 10 points. So this could be the deciding factor, but everyone gets the same point score and it's just for pride this race. And there's a lot of it on the line. All right, let's, let's run through who's going to do what. From your side of the field and mine, Dean Cook hasn't been in a car for 13 years. He's come back. He got pole straight out. That's why he starts this one from pole. Tell me a bit about Yui Tan, though. What do we think from Yui? Uh, Yui's had another up and down weekend. He came. He was four tenths of a second faster than Evan Chen, who he was fighting for in the in the title fight. Yeah, he, he got him in the first race, and, and then I say Evan got disqualified. He was thinking great, and then Yui ends up in the gravel trap, and he was livid. So he needs to calm down. You can see he's all smiles. He's a good guy, but right behind him is Evan Chen. So if, actually, from our side of the grid, there could be a bit of beef to settle between of two of our drivers. No it, points on the line, so it won't affect their championship. No, exactly. It could affect the wallet if anybody <laughs> damages the car. No one's going to want to end up in front of the stewards. But, yeah, this would be a good opportunity to say, hey, do you know what? I didn't appreciate that earlier this weekend. Yeah. So there are two really quick guys. Uh, but Francis Char, third on our grid, has also won a couple of times this year in, uh, in Pro-Am. So I'm expecting them to be up at the sharp end. The interesting thing for me is Tim Miles starts from P5. Those who saw the Porsche Career Cup Australia race yesterday will remember a memorable battle between himself and Stephen Grove that came down quite literally to the final corner. The grid coming on your screen now. So we'll run through that for you as well with Dean Cook and Yui Tan on the front row of the grid. But Tim Miles going from the third row. He has absolutely got the pace to run right at the very pointy end of this field. So watch for him to charge through. Stephen Grove and Evan Chen. You mentioned Tim Miles and then uh, Francis Char alongside there. So those six will be fighting for that position up in turn one. Shane Small and Wayne Shen row four. And turn one and two, we've seen some people, if you, you know, you try and hang it out around the outside. Mark Cheney, Michael S. You mentioned Mark's another quick guy. Yep. A lot of experience. But if, if you try and hang it out around the outside in turn one, you can then lose out in turn two. We saw that in both our, our second races Correct. this weekend with our, with our overall drivers. Yeah, a lot of people had a big go and tried to commit to that outside line, but it didn't work for them on, on several occasions, both on the start of the race and indeed on uh, in overtaking manoeuvres during the race. So your coin toss has absolutely worked for us by giving us that Inside vital line. inside line into yeah. turn one. In all seriousness, yeah. it's, a, it's an advantage here. And they've got, they've got to hook it up from the start. Though We saw yesterday Chris van der Drift uh, didn't get the best start, so he had to slip the clutch like mad uh, to get the car around. They're coming down uh, to the uh, back straight. There's Andrew Tang from Porsche China Junior Drivers, along with Zhang Dusheng as his teammate in that. And behind there is uh, Will Bamba, who won the second race of Porsche Carrera Cup Asia here at Sepang after being fired off in turn one in the first race when he was leading the championship. He's managed to drag that back. We haven't got updated points for you, unfortunately, because there's been the odd protest about one or two things, let's say. It's been an exciting weekend. Um, same for you guys. Contact yep. twice in turn two from the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia guys. Actually, one guy spun on his own and then got Jackson hit, Evans. didn't he? Yeah. yeah, got collected by James Abella. Uh, we saw the penalty for... Uh, there was contact with... Um, 
Oh, my mind has departed uh, now. Davison and um, your second place man, entry list not oh, in it was Andre Heimgartner. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a penalty for Heimgartner during the race, 25 seconds, that dropped him down to eighth place. And well, yeah. There's no recourse for that. That penalty's done and dusted. So, um, okay, so that, and that's dropped them a long way behind. It's given David Wall a big More advantage in, in the overall championship. You must stay with us for the overall race later on because there's going to be fireworks in that. There will be honour at stake. These guys are all going to be looking after their cars a little bit as well. And, of course, that's why they're given 10 championship points because some people would duck out and go, look, I don't want to don't want to risk the car. But they get 10 points, so they have to sharpen the grid. Once they're on the grid, visor down, adrenaline up, lights on, lights out, bang, down to turn one. Let's do this. On the front row of the grid then, on the left-hand side, Dean Cook returning to racing after a long break. And on the right-hand side, Yui Tan with behind him. A rival, I was going to say, could even say arch rival right now. Evan Chen, him and Yui have come together this weekend and have been together all year long. On row two, Stephen Grove, who won both races for Australia. Who's going to get down to turn one first? Oh, looked like maybe a slight clutch dip for Dean Cook. I wasn't quite sure, but Yui Tan has managed to hook it up. He moves across and shuts the door on Stephen Grove. While down the outside, Tim Miles looks to have gone absolutely fantastic. Fantastic start. Tim Miles for Australia trying to come around the outside of Yui Tan. Yui Tan's going to go inside, but it is Dean Cook who gets the whole shot. Yui Tan slots into P2. Evan Chen, look, has gone all the way around the outside. He might leave and lose out. Francis Char and Michael S in the two open road racing cars, the bright blue and orange cars. Chen, though, up the inside. Evan Chen, he slots into P5. But out front, it is Dean Cook. And then uh, Tim Miles is right up there for Australia as well. But Yui Tan on the inside. Yui Tan having a look to make a dive into turn one. And right behind him, Tim Miles is trying to, going to try and go everybody up the inside. I think Tim Miles is going to go up the inside. Oh, Contact between fire. him and Dean Cook. The Goodness me. Collide. Yeah, Yui Tan leading. What a great start for Tim Miles from P5. Went right across to the left-hand side of the racetrack. Swept around and he gets himself to P2. Brilliant start for him. Stephen Grove bo got boxed in a little bit, but great cold tyre pace for Yui Tan. We've seen that in the Carrera Cup. Asia race and Australia getting the maximum out of the opening lap is so critical. Yui Tan has done just that. Great move. Love seeing the guys down in the pits. You can see all the overall drivers there going, yeah, let's just have a look and see how this works out. Everyone's going to be sent to they down in turn one. Hold on a minute. This wasn't in the plan. So Tan then leading from Tim Miles. Dean Cook there as Francis Char having a little look up the inside but couldn't make it past. I think it's Stephen Grove, is it, who's in P4. So Stephen Grove, yeah, it is, who, who won both. Uh, sorry, P, yeah, P4, P4. So won both races. Can Grove get past here? What's the history between your guys? Super, super close. Yeah, well, not much between Grove and Cook, given Cook's absence from the sport. So Grove carving his way through the field. He needs to get past Cook as quickly as he can because we know he can run with Tim Miles. Tim is staying with you, Etan. Francis Char all over the back of Shane Small and a former champion in our tag for career. Oh, a challenge who has, has a, a moment. big slide at turn 14 but gathers it up. What an opening lap for Yui Tan, though. Yeah, There's leading. Grove guys watching on middle of shot there. You can just see the back of Tanya Grove's head. She'll be pretty nervous Stevens as her man goes down look. the inside. And he does, Stephen Grove then, oh, but with the wheels locked, how deep has he gone? He managed to make the pass on Dean Cook, but has he gathered it up on the exit or not? And he hasn't, so he's, uh, he's looking like he's going to go back behind. He does, so uh, Cook manages to find the traction. Cook actually cut the kerb on the entry to turn four, and you saw the car pop up over the kerb, so... We are birthday boy from yesterday. Yeah, 47 years young, Craig Baird, five-time champion in Career Cup Australia. So Char looking down the inside of Smollen. It's a good move, but couldn't quite get it done that time by Shane. Battled a gearbox issue in race one yesterday. They replaced it overnight. Big container full of spares coming over from Australia with Carrera Cup Australia. They got the job done and Shane was much, much happier with the performance of this car this weekend. An outright round winner this year, teaming up with David Wall, now Pro-Am event at Phillip Island. So he's got great speed. He goes Grove, meanwhile, looking down the inside of Cook. Bit of friendly fire from the Aussies here and that's allowing Yui Tan to pull away. Super tight between these guys. Look at the speed differential as they come out of turn four there. So Grove got hooked up behind and then uh, he was caught up by Shane Smolin big time on the exit. Smolin's looking really quick here, but he can't get past Grove. Grove's got his eyes focused front and back. He needs to just focus forward and see if he can get the pass in. Because I do think it looks like he's got just a little bit more pace. But, you know, great pace as well from Cook when you think, as you say, he's had such a long break from racing. To come back and be bang on it like this against guys who have had seat time and, and are sharp is, is impressive. And a lot of people around the paddock saying, we don't forget how to drive. But I think even Cookie was pretty surprised. Great move. Flake dive bomb down the inside. Grove gets it done. But he locked the inside front Michelin. Understeered wide. And Cook retook the position. Falls back a bit as well, falling into the clutches of Smolin. These guys are going to need to uh, move forward a little bit if they can. Nick McBride watching on, so he's got a job to do in the pro race coming up a little bit later on this afternoon. 
Wow, down the inside is that Francis yeah, Char again. Yeah, it's Francis it is. Char. I think he's managed to get Smolin. Is he just Smolin make a mistake? Because he dropped a long way back from Grove there. He was right up behind Grove suddenly as well. So Smolin also drops back behind Evan Chen. So Asia driver's making a move. And Michael S now all over the back of uh, Smolin, Shane Smolin. So I was going to say we need some of the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia drivers to try and get towards the front. Because at the minute we've got Yui Tan yeah. under pressure from three of your guys incoming. Andre Heimgarten, right of screen. Nick Foster, former Carrera Cup Oz champion. On the left, down the inside. This is the return serve from Smolin. Trying to get past Evan Chen. Evan Chen a little bit deep. Look for the exit here to see where Chen is. Smolin alongside him. If Smolin can get good traction, he could get past Evan Chen. Michael S could go with him as well. Down the straight now. Smolin is alongside Chen, but Chen has the line down into turn one. Uh, Michael S moves across. Double slipstream for him. He could choose to go left or right. Smolin, though, is going to get hung out to dry here by Chen. If he's not careful, Michael S is going to go up the inside as well. Michael S now then standing a chance of knocking Smolin back. But Smolin's now got the left hand that goes deep on the brakes. And up the inside, Michael S. So Smolin, though, around the right hander, he just holds on. And but that, seems to be struggling. Yeah, and that was critical. You lose momentum in one corner. It affects you for the next five or six on a fast-flowing circuit like this. Grove now down the inside of Cook again. So this battle continues up at turn four. Now they're coming to turn six. Race control has just messaged... Rain has been felt at turn six. Oh. Why are the officials there? Light rain at turn six. We did say that we wouldn't mind a bit of rain, but sometimes in Malaysia you don't get a bit. A little, it's normally, it's yeah, the, the tap yeah. comes on and it's like the whole bath has been thrown out in one go. <laughs> so if it rains really hard, interesting, Raginger was talking to Virginia Ma earlier on saying if it only drizzles, you have to stay on the slicks because if it stops raining, it dries his so quickly that the wets are destroyed instantly. So if we had an absolute downpour, they'd have to stop the race because obviously they can't continue on slicks. But I don't mind a little bit of drizzle, that'll liven it up. Daniel Jordan, right of screen, Porsche Career Cup Australia PR, and Troy Bundy, who's our new motorsport boss. And this is his first weekend on the job. Oh, fantastic. Not a bad. No, to that's Kura a great Cup one. Australia. Yeah. That's a great one. And to head uh, offshore for the very first time for the championship, great to have Porsche Career Cup Australia here alongside Porsche Career Cup Asia. And I really enjoyed the trip across last year to uh, Sydney Motorsport Park. You're very welcome back, especially if we beat you today. Uh, Tim Miles, fastest driver on the racetrack at the moment in second place. 2.12.4 last time round. It's Tanya Grove and Brenton Grove. Stephen's son watching on. He's on the radio talking to his dad, who's running P4. Interesting. Look at the lap times, uh, Krause. You know, we, we were, what were we looking at? 209s, weren't we, in the previous races? Yep. But, of course, everybody now on used tyres. Although it's overcast, you know, they're now on tyres, which have already done a good heavy stint. Three or four laps in quali. They've then done a 13-lap race. You know, they're, they're coming up for 16, 17 laps old. The Michelins are brilliant, and they won't drop off now. They only drop off after those first four laps, but the, the, the lap time showing the, the degradation, I guess. Yeah, and they'll start to slide around a little bit more as this race goes on. I think you'll find, especially if there's a little bit of precipitation in the air, what we've also seen, big thunderstorm rolled through, no rain, but a bit of thunder and lightning around it. The humidity went up quite dramatically, but ambient temperature felt like it dropped to me. Yeah, it did, yeah. So, um, yeah, the track conditions again have changed from where they were earlier on this morning. This is a great little battle. That open road racing Porsche, A, excellent livery, yeah, B, I... charging its way through the field. I mean, look, you cannot beat a good livery, no. can you? We've got some absolutely classic ones in Porsche Carrera Cup, Asia. says the flaming skulls at one. There's uh, some of the Michelin wets on Yui Tan stand. They're down there should we uh, need to go for uh, tyre changes. There's Michael S. Still piling the pressure onto Shane Smolin. This is Evan Chen and Francis Char. Both these guys have taken wins this year in our Pro-Am category. So, Tim Miles, that gap's just stabilised. 1.1 seconds. Yui Tan returned serve last time and was slightly faster. Here's a move down the inside. Chen having a look at Francis Char, and I think he's going to get it done. He is. That's into the combination up at turn 7 and 8. On the exit here, watch if they run wide over the kerbs. OK, so that's where you would get yourself in a spot of bother if it looks like you've made an advantage. There's a camera that faces down that line and you can be penalised by race control. But as Char was the losing driver in that move, there won't be any action there if they put, if they cross the white line. And the drivers were saying it is. The reason they police it is you can get a big advantage oh, going yeah. out of there. Open up the steering through turn eight. Minimum corner speed goes up and you have a run down the inside into the braking zone at turn nine. What's interesting to me is there's a big tarmac runoff between seven and eight. Actually, when they were telling me there's penalties at eight, I thought it was the entry because they carry so much speed through. If you go and look down the rubbers all the way over the white yeah. line on the outside, hold the lock on and get the gas on early. There's uh, Claire, Yui Tan's other half, and Andrew Tang. Claire was watching from home yesterday. She was uh, highly entertained by maths chat, which is <laughs> our, our, we should make that hashtag, really, mate, from now on. I think so. There's Yui Tan leading from Tim Miles. 
Stephen Grove is up into P3. So is Grove on the move? Well, what's the gap? He uh, had good pace last time round. Yeah. and eight, so he was quicker than anybody. Only, by two, only two tenths, though, isn't it? And that's, you know, with uh, I'm 10 laps still to go, so it's a full race distance, so nine now. Gap 1.4 to Tim Miles. What was it before? 1.1, did you say? Yeah, so it's, so it's gone out a little bit. Another few tenths for UE Tan last time around. Grove is catching the two of them, though, just slightly, but he is catching them. These two aren't catching anyone except themselves. Dean Cook and Evan Chen having a really good battle. So Dan Cook, baptism of fire this weekend, started from pole and oh, into the Michael grab S. Michael S. He's off. So Michael S is off. Is that going to cause a safety car? Whereabouts was that car beached? We don't know. So we'll keep an eye out. Look for the marshals post at this point. You need to look for a wave. Yet. Oh, and somebody ran wide. That was small, and I think, was it out super? No, it wasn't. Out on the dirt in the background. Might have been Mark Cheney. And Evan Chen now, Evan Chen's got a run on the exit look, and he, he looked like he was up the inside, we've got a yellow flag. Yellow. So Chen there looked like he was going to try and come past, then he's seen the yellow flag. Is that safety car then? Because it doesn't look to me, yes it is, the safety yep. car board's out in the background. There's uh, Martin Raginger talking to Earl Bamba, double championship winner here in Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, and double winner of Le Mans. It's incredible, isn't it, at such a young age, and that's a replay of Michael S. Well, it's the end of it, ending up parked in the gravel. That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. I, I, I kind of was looking forward to a race all the way through. Having said that, let's bunch them up and go again. Well, it takes 1.45 seconds and makes it 0. 0.00045 seconds at a restart, which should be with eight laps to go if they're quick, seven perhaps. They're, so still, uh, they're still pushing fairly hard out there right now, aren't they? They're waiting until they get to the safety car. I might have been tempted by now just to wind it in and just cruise round to the uh, to the queue, but maybe, uh, maybe they haven't seen uh, the safety car signs yet well anyway we're winning at the minute mate you are just <laughs> but we've got weight of numbers just behind on a restart so oh, i think no, uh, no. we'll be attacking in a group could be a swamp couldn't we could get we could get swamped we don't we, hey guys how are we doing down in the paddock they're there with the wets hopefully we're not going to need them where is the safety car turn 15 that michael s was off to by the way so final corner, so it's just That's while we were watching the leaders here. come through. There are the marshals yeah. moving away, so that should get out of the way pretty quickly. So just the one lap, perhaps, well, too. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, it's, no it's not. It's still there. So where's the safety car? I'm assuming at the pit exit. So Yui Tan has backed off. Behind him, Tim Miles slots in. And then uh, Stephen Grove. Now, yes, you are winning. Yeah. And, but taking the parochialism out of it, how good is it to see how evenly matched this group of yeah, cars are. And have a look at the best laps throughout this race. The top five guys in this are covered by four tenths of a second in their fastest lap so far. It's a testament, isn't it, to the one make formula and it is. how competitive all of the regional Carrera Cup championships are. And when you smash them all together in a race like this, it, it really is as even as it gets. I think it's interesting, too, that, you know, really last year, let's be honest, we did get it handed to us big time at Sydney Motorsport Park. But that is... It's, uh, I mean, our drivers, you were saying your drivers think it's an open track. Our drivers are like, wow, this place is narrow, yeah. there's no runoff, it's like it's up and down. It's a different type of circuit. Yeah. And I wonder if it's possibly slightly harder to go somewhere like that and go quickly immediately with the bumps and with the narrowness and I don't know, maybe the fear of a big off, you know, compared to coming here in FYA circuit, your guys have done brilliantly to get straight on the pace yeah. um, of, of the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia guys. Yeah, I'm really proud of the way our guys have got up to speed quickly. I think it's, it's terrific, but... But again, that's what I make Porsche racing is all about, isn't it? Those different experiences. And and look, the joint races last year at Sydney Motorsport Park were really competitive. And the pro race, Matt Campbell, we've seen what that young man's gone on to do. Winner of a Porsche Super Cup race in his fifth start just a week ago. Um, he and Maxime Juice, who was representing Carrera Cup Australia, were side by side for the opening lap, had a really good battle. So I think even then we knew that the standard in Carrera Cup Asia was extremely high. But would it be fair to say that this championship is more competitive this year than it was last. Oh, I think so, uh, absolutely. If you, if you look at the grid this year, you know, Maxime was, maybe, it's not fair maybe to say a cut above, but he was very, very good. And it's not because he's gone that now we've got loads of guys together. I think everyone had to raise their game to race against him, and we saw some people were able to beat him. But, you know, now we've got maybe six drivers. We've got some new young drivers who've come in, which, yeah. which is great for us. You know, um, Zhang Dasheng is now one of the Porsche China Junior drivers. We're having another look back at the start, I think. Um, we've got Philip Hamprecht, who's come in, uh, you know, to last year's champions car. Nico Menzel, of course, has moved on to yep. a factory drive, I think, with a different manufacturer back in Germany. And, you know, so it, it, it's really proving this championship 
uh, to be super competitive and to uh, you know to produce some really good young drivers who are going on to do incredible things like win Le Mans twice so yeah. I think the last four or five years for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia have been really key in, in raising the, the, the profile of the championship as somewhere where you can go do you know what I can go there and do that and I'm going to get a high profile and I'm going to go on to do something else and, afterwards and the more drivers like that that come out of the championship the higher the credibility of the championship gets the, the more respect it gets globally as we go for a restart um, and it only helps to raise the profile, as do events like this. So Yui Tan yeah, will lead great. Tim Miles and Stephen Grove back to the green flag. Good restart by Yui Tan. Got on the gas early. We saw Will Bamba did that in uh, race two of Porsche Carrera Cup Asia this weekend. Tan moving across towards the left-hand side of the circuit. You're right as we look at it now. That's to try and break the toe. Stephen Grove is now right on the back of Tim Miles. Um, Grove, we saw, made a pass earlier on, which was pretty impressive. Uh, nothing too dangerous going on in the background, which is nice to see everyone being sensible. Into turn two, and we can still see that Yui Tan is out front. So it is Tan from Miles and Stephen Grove. And as we saw, as we get a move here, so that's Evan Chen looking down the inside of Cook. Evan, so through turn four yeah. in the braking zone at five. I think Looks he's like got he's this done already. Done. I think he's alongside him already. So Evan Chen with a great move there. And Dean Cook's back another position. Dean Cook, it's then you were talking about you know these championships and going off and racing different places in one mate. He's, he was saying to me, look, I fancy going doing a couple of races in Europe. Yeah. Stephen Grove's been doing some stuff, hasn't he, outside yeah, of, really of, of he Australia went, and Asia? Went to Spa. Yeah. Uh, raced at the France and Germany double header that they ran there. He's been up to Fuji racing with uh, Japan and Career Cup Asia. And yeah, Paul Paul Tresseter from our championship went and raced at the support uh, race to Le Mans earlier on this year. Yeah. So yeah. The, these guys can go and hire a car somewhere else. It's the same car. They jump yeah. in it. There's no need Correct. to become familiar with it. You learn the circuit. And Way yeah, up. absolutely brilliant format. Mark Sini was at that race at Le Mans as well, which was an incredible motor. I don't know if you saw the last lap of that. Four or five guys going in. I think the four lead changes on the last lap. Brilliant. Some extraordinary stuff. Absolutely brilliant. There's the boss, Paul Ellis, watching on from pit lane. We saw Matt Lena and Robbo early on. The operations department of Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. Ellie's in his element this weekend. He's, uh, he's got the chewing the gum on the go. Is yeah. he feeling the pressure he might there? Be a bit you know? nervous. Yeah. He might be a bit nervous. I, I'd like to think we're keeping our powder dry for the pro race. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I think you might spin be. it anyway. Yeah. Did I mention I do PR for <laughs> no. So, Milesy, it's, it's now. only four tenths of a second. There's not much in this. But as we've seen all weekend, restarts have been so critical. And if you're good on cold tyres or tyres that don't have the pressure up, you're going to be good. Down the inside goes Francis Char on Cook, and that's a nice move. That's tidy, really tidy. Cook's going to try and get the undercut on the exit and try and get the gas down early, get back alongside Char. But Char's in the box seat here to defend down in turn one. Look at that, Cook's, Cook. Very clever from Cook. It's very easy in a situation like that. You go, no, I'm shutting the door. You get contact. You both end up off. Instead, he's you know he's rolled off. He's gone wide. He's tucked the nose in back on the gas. He's alongside Char. Gives Char the squeeze on the way down to turn one. Gives him a little rub. That's fine, though. Rubbing's racing. But Char's done well to hold on to that position as well. So those two guys racing with, with a good head on their shoulders. And, you know, that's, we've changed the name of this class from Class B to Pro-Am. Yep. And I think it's a good change because we, these guys are great drivers. Yeah, next year we go Pro-Am as well yeah. in Porsche Career Cup Australia. We'll have an AM class too as Stephen Grove finds himself under pressure. So Evan Chen's come alive the after the restart. The KLM car's storming his way forward. So he's currently P4. Grove is third. Then there's a bit of a buffer to Tim Miles in second place. And Yui Tan. Do you know what? I'm sort of gritting my teeth because if Tim Miles win this, yes, it's Career Cup Australia, but he is a Kiwi. So, you, oh, know. you can't have that, can you? That's not a real win for <laughs> Australia, is it? That's no good at all. Could, could be worse. He could be a bomb. <laughs> he could. Luckily for you, there are no English drivers out here. I, don't, I haven't seen a single uh, Yinny and Jack no. on on, uh, on the timing screen, unfortunately. We'll have to try and arrange that for next year so we can have even more needle and, uh, and bounce in the commentary box. So Evan Chen is continuing to uh, close the gap on Stephen Grove. That would be good for me because that will see two cars from Porsche Carrera Cup Asia up into the top three, and that would mean there's only a Kiwi in the top three and no Australians, Krause. That would be no. awful for you. We've got a track record of claiming excellent New Zealanders as our <laughs> own over the course of history and I'm more than happy to do just that for one team miles there's another one we've claimed Andy McElroy the team boss at McElroy Racing based on the Gold Coast so they're watching on watching their boy do the job Grove is under pressure come on Grovey he's up for the fight he's lived for this weekend desperate to represent his country he He's was running P3. He, he was so smiley when we went did the he was like, now nah, come on, let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna beat you, Paul Trest is going, I'm gonna beat them. We, we're gonna hand it to you. He was full of it. It was He's great. Great fun to talk to anywhere you go with Stephen Grove. Eyes open, he just takes it all in and really enthusiastic about life. 
Now that's where back. Chen's tried a similar cut back to Cook, but for me, didn't come off the gas quite enough early enough to get on the inside again to try and get the cut back. But maybe he wasn't quite as close either. But right now, Evan Chen is up in the slipstream of Stephen Grove, who won both the Tag Her Carrera Challenge races this weekend. Chen goes to the left, then jinx to the right. That is a very nice move, it has to be said. I know I wouldn't say he dummied him, but he did kind of make Grove look, do you know what, I yep. think I'm going to go this way. Grove's then done the fair thing, which is moved to block, and of course you can't move back to block the other way. Drew him out from the white line where he was defending his position down on the run into turn one. Sold him the dummy, sent it. Really nice move. I'll give him that, unfortunately, yeah. but I'll give it to him. Yeah. So Chen is on the chase now. He would love to catch up with Yui Tan. We've got five laps to go. Remember, these guys are all on tyres now, which are coming up for 20 laps old. So these cars are starting to move around underneath them. That isn't going to be that familiar for a lot of these guys because of the race distances which yep. they're used to doing, which is 13 laps. You know, so that now suddenly you're on a tyre, which has effectively done almost two race distances. Yeah, exactly right. That's why the cars, I noticed coming out of the hairpin at turn 15, there was a big slide. We're looking out here. This Tresida. is a feisty battle pack. Yeah, that was Tressida looking up the inside of somebody. Yui Tan through turn seven and turn eight. What's yeah. the gap? 1.2, and Yui last time round just punched out the fastest lap of the race. And uh, I think Evan Chen is catching Tim Miles. That gap is getting ever smaller. Tim will be being told on his radio, eyes forward. El Bamba left of shot. Philip Hamprecht on, on, the, on the right as well. So... He's a good ambassador for Porsche, El Bamba, isn't he? Just in everything he does, not just behind the wheel. Clearly can drive a little bit, but just the way he presents himself, talks to media, talks to the sponsors, corporates, families. He's a great ambassador for the brand. I first met him when he was doing Super League Formula. He actually he co-commentated with me on Super League Formula when he was at he the races. He commentate too, can't yeah, he? Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Annoying, no, yeah, we should have him removed. Um, he, he, was in, uh, he was at Super League Formula basically in the hopes that a drive would come up. They were short on entries that year, and basically they were handing out the occasional drive the organisers were to keep things lively. Um, and uh, he didn't get a drive that weekend and was in commentate with me. And you think there was a guy who was basically scratching around looking for a drive in what was really by then a, a, a slightly lower level single seater championship. And, and now here he is as a works Porsche driver. There are the guys watching the stream. That means they can hear us. We better not say anything bad about them. Bit of an inception um, there. We're watching ourselves. Yeah. Watch ourselves. Yeah. That's, that's weird. Yeah, we can end up in yeah. some second dimension. But yeah, you know, El Bamba now, you know, works Porsche driver, twice yeah. a winner of Le Mans. And literally 2011, he was, you know, scratching around for a driving Super League formula. Came to this championship and, oh, uh, you know, oh, did, oh, Wayne Shen. sideways. He, he was committed. He went hard right and then decided he'd rather go around the outside and just backed it in, speedway style. Just he did. Sort of committed to turn the car in and had a big slide. Fortunately, gathered it up and Dean Cook held his position. Evan and now Chen. this is the fight for P2. So Miles is under pressure and having to defend. Gee, oh, Chen has come alive since the restart. He needed that safety car because the car has been switched on since then. Just trying to think back to Chen and in terms of tyres, but he's completed both race distances, so he hasn't got any tyre yeah, advantage, no advantage in theory. Might have been um, set up to come on late, maybe tyre pressures perhaps. Yeah. Well, either way, oh, he's uh, right up behind now. Chen all oh, has a look up the oh. inside of Tim Miles. Can't get it done there. And sideways, a big catch as Tim Miles uses all of the runoff as well. We're going to have a look at Evan Chen just on the breaks down at the end of this straight. We've got El Bamba lined up for a chat in a moment, but I want to see Evan Chen's move. Chen's going to have a dive there. Surely can't get it done just now. So let's uh, head down to the pits and have a very quick chat with El Bamba, who's with Virginia Marr. Very exciting for the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia to be here with Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. What is it like to see them uh, compete at this legendary circuit? Yeah, it's great to see everyone compete. It's uh, so far a great race between uh, the two categories in the Pro-Am. So, uh, you know, I want to get back to watching the race actually because it's super exciting, but also looking forward to the Pro race. Uh, hopefully our juniors uh, show them the way. Thank you so much. We'll let you get back to the race. Thank you. Oh, two oh, cars no. are off. So that's, uh, I think it's, is it John Shen or Wayne Shen? It's one of the Shens is off with the Flaming Skulls livery, my favourite one. I hope that doesn't bring out a safety car right now because Evan Chen is absolutely piling it onto Tim Miles. And this is where we've seen a number of passes. She's tidy. Chen is through the hairpin at the end of the straight. Now he's going to get on the gas, tuck himself right up underneath the slipstream. Here we go. Surely this is where Evan Chen makes the move. Miles is going to stay over on the right-hand side. Now, remember, Chen, he did a dummy here earlier on on Grove. He moved him across to the left. He does the same with Miles. Now he goes towards the right. Evan Chen with two textbook moves up the inside. Nicely done there at the team. Double-checking on the monitors. Don't worry, lads. It's the same on the monitor as it is on your phone. Evan Chen has passed and goes up into P2. What a drive. Yeah, really good move. I'll give him that. Again, I'm giving too many of them this yeah. race. There's the team watching on. 
just realised they're on TV. Yeah, that was a really nice move. I tell you what, we needed a safety car about 35 seconds ago to give Tim Miles <laughs> rear tyres a break. He's out of rear. He had a massive slide coming out of 15, really struggling to get the power down, and that just opened him up to that attack on the running to turn one. Really good battle. There's been some great overtaking in this race. So we've lost Lee Chow and we've lost John Shen. I'm just looking at Michael S has gone into the pits. How many laps to go? Can't, uh, four lap gap. So he's been in a while. Lee Chow looks like he's nine laps down. So John Shen is uh, dropping down the timing screen like a stone. But Mark Cheney is as well. So is it Mark Cheney has had a problem or is he still running? Hard Up to tell. The order. Yeah, it splits. his first split was terrible. So he's dropped a long way down. Unfortunately, most experienced driver in Porsche Carrera Cup Australia history. There's Minal, who's Yui Tan's uh, team manager. I went in yesterday to get Yui for an interview, and, and Yui was like, I'll be out in two minutes. Minal said, no, you won't. You'll be out in ten minutes. We're looking at data. <laughs> so Yui was like, OK, I'll try and right. make it five. Um, so, uh, but yeah, you know, they were, they were having a serious look at things, and they knew they had good pace this week. And I say Yui Tan got the better of Evan Chen in qualifying by four tenths of a second. And uh, he's going to be hoping that he can uh, hold on to the win here, particularly for kind of bragging rights for our Pro-Am series. If he can finish in front of uh, Evan Chen, he's going to be very pleased with that. And we'll uh, get to see them on the podium together, which will be fun as well. I don't think Evan Chen's done with yet. He's just punched out the fastest first split of the race Whoa. on this lap. So they're coming to the line now. We'll see what sort of lap time he does and what the margin is to Yui Tan. So maybe a little bit of friendly fire as they battle for the lead on the last lap. The seas may yet part for uh, the Carrera Cup Australia contingent. Francis Char is closing down on Stephen Grove now too. So we'd like to uh, come away from this and uh, see the main straight, really. There's Evan Chen's dad. So that would have been a tough weekend for him and his mum. We've seen both of them here. Here's Paul Tressed up. He's having a look at Kenneth Lau in the background there. Uh, Dean Cook's gone backwards big time. Not quite sure what's happened there because, you know, he was the pole man, but it hasn't quite worked out in this race. Yeah, P11 for him at the moment. I tell you what, Evan Chen took out almost a full second out of the leader last time around. I was going to say, big push there. Hooked a wheel, right, two wheels off right on the, over on the side there. You see him jink out to get a nice straight braking zone down to turn four. But in the background here, Francis Char trying to get past Stephen Grove. So that would mean that uh, well, he'd still have to get past Tim Miles to get a full Porsche Carrera Cup Asia podium. And I think with two laps to go, you can see Miles is just that little bit further in front. But... Um, OK, well, what do you think then? All seriousness, uh, great drive by, yeah. by all the guys here. It's good to see those cars off to the left. That's why we didn't get a safety car. Uh, obviously, I'm pleased for the Porsche Carrera Cup oh, Asia look, guys, thanks to the Bants, but, but some great racing, tidy as well. They've driven brilliantly. It has been clean. As I said before, some really good overtakes, like really well set up, really well executed. No bump and runs, nothing like that. It's no. been clean, hard and fair, and that's all we really wanted to see. Banter aside, Huey just locked a break going into seven there. He, Evan Chen's closing down. Oh, Evan, yeah, Evan well, Chen's on it. Let's have a race. Come on, feeling some pressure a little bit now. Let's have a race right towards the end, two laps, especially between these two, as I say, because it'll be exciting if they do. The other good thing for this is these guys actually get to get the chequered flag first. They're not back in the field with the pro drivers, so it's a bit of a bragging rights that they yeah, can actually win a race outright. Yeah, rather, they win their class, don't they, but yeah. in, say, P6 or Correct. wherever it happens to be, and this time, yeah, it's a proper over-the-line over the yep. first fist pump. Oh, and then we've got a spin-up. So to look, Buncheron facing the wrong way. That shouldn't bring out a safety car as long as he rolls the car off the track. Don't stall it there. Come on. Roll it off the circuit. We don't want a safety car now. We want to see Evan Chen chasing Yui Tan all the way to the flag. Francis Char in the background is moving Stephen Grove across. Now, Char, if he's now is the time to move back to the other side. That's what he does. Get the nose hooked up, try and get on the gas earlier, tee him up on the next straight. It's a kilometre long, Francis. Here goes Francis Char now with a big push on Stephen Grove. Good exit for Grove, though. Got his power down well, so I think he might be all right. Let's see if we have a replay of what happened a couple of laps ago. So he's going to go wide. Grove now covers his line. I think he might be all right. We've seen that outside line not working so far this weekend. Stephen Grove holds on. <laughs> so Grove had that done to him, didn't he, earlier by Chen? He's and he's learned. got he's got wise yeah. to it. And Char yep. obviously hasn't seen that. And what Char needed to do was draw him out from that inside line earlier on the straight to give himself the cut back to the inside. And didn't quite work out that time. But still good to see these two guys going at it. Great to see Francis Char recovering from what was a pretty torrid start to his season. So a win in Thailand and a win here earlier on today. So Francis Char on good form. Always smiling.
smiling when he's not. We went to see him for an interview when he'd had five non-finishes, and I thought, oh, God, I hope he's not going to be in too much of a mood. It's brutal. Oh, it was great. He was all smiles. He's like, yeah, I'm not having the best run, to be honest. So um, it's a record, I'm told, for uh, for DNFs, is it? Yeah, it's a record wow. for, for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. So um, <laughs> good old Francis. Same record the wrong way, yeah. and now the right way. You know, now the right way. A couple of wins for him, and we're, we're pleased to have you, Francis. He's always smiling. Great bloke. Great That's bloke. A, Tim Miles will take enormous satisfaction out of being first Aussie home. <laughs> and I'm calling him an Aussie because he's representing Porsche Carrera Cup Australia, <laughs> not Carrera Cup New Zealand. So, uh, Milesy in third place, solid, solid performance. And he'll be very happy to beat Stephen Grove. He, he came up to me the other day, and I should probably say this, but he said, I'd never tell Tim Miles to my face, but he was a really good racer. Really? I, I'd never say it to his face, but he's really good. Really enjoy it. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we just now, the whole world knows. Yeah, that's it. Now the whole world knows. Yeah, it was like when I gave away Yui Tan's tactics the other day at the coin toss. He had a secret set of tyres squirreled away, yeah. having retired in qualifying. Yeah, he was and I thrilled about that. Yeah. He, was, yeah, he was over the moon when but I gave rigged, it away. You rigged the toss for us, so that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Although it didn't work out no, so far. So yet. far. A couple of, couple of corners still to go. But here we are coming down. You can see the, uh, the pit crews from the various support categories hanging out over the wall, giving the guys a big thumbs up. But... In the first of the two invitational races, it is going to be a 1-2 for Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. On home soil, they know this circuit well. They've been here a lot. But Yui Tan and Evan Chen, who are locked in battle. It is Tan who takes the win here in the invitational race for Pro-Am versus Carrera Challenge. Behind him is title rival Evan Chen, the first of the drivers from Carrera Cup Australia over the line. Tim Miles, Stephen Grover, double winner here this weekend, takes P4. Great driving from him. And Francis Char comes home in P5, having taken one of the wins this weekend too, with Wayne Shen rounding out the top six. And in all seriousness, brilliant driving from both championships. Yep. Tidy racing, no carnage. You know, some of the drivers are nervous, but, you know, we had a nice briefing. The guy said, you're representing your own championships, you're representing Porsche. That's what they've done. They've gone out and they've done it in style. Paul Tresseter and Kenneth Lau, very close, eighth and ninth. So Yui Tan spent a couple of seasons racing Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Australia, so I'm, I, I think we can claim half. I was gonna, yeah, you're about to <laughs> claim that, You were waiting for it, weren't you? You knew yeah. that was inevitable. I was just drinking water at the time. I was going to have to come back straight on air because he's trying to claim him. He's trying no, to claim him. Full he's got, to he's got an accent. I'll give you that. Yeah, he does. He does. It's a South Australian one as well. Um, no, look, really, really good no, driver. Great drive. What a good way for him to make up for the dramas in yeah. race two of Crack Up Asia this morning. Bounce back, big confidence boost going into their next championship round and a win in the joint race. So it's it's one all for the, the Pro-Ams and the Carrera Challenge drivers. Interestingly, these two guys not really winding down. Have you noticed? Not, this, is, this is this after is the, the flag cool and they're still going very quickly. I'm wondering if... Uh, if there's a little bit of needle here. So let's hope they don't do anything silly. Apparently, I think Yui Tan, as far as I'm aware, made his feelings aware right. uh, to Evan Chen on the pit wall earlier on after uh, they'd come together in the race. I don't know the outcome of, of what happened. I know they were both called to the stewards' room. And as I say, you know, we've had a DNF for Yui. We had a DQ for Evan. Uh, all you need to know is these two guys are very, very closely matched, as you can see, and you really ought to join us for the rest of the season on Porsche Carrera Cup Asia if you'd like to see which one of them is going to win the pro -Am title this year because it's probably the closest time race I've seen in five years of covering this championship. So we, we've got some great racing at the front of our series as well in the overall class and we are really looking forward to seeing our overall drivers versus the Australian drivers. Whoever wins, it's going to be an absolutely brilliant race, Krause. He can't it, wait. It'll be well earned. It's, uh, first and second representing Carrera Cup Asia. Get the Joys from the support race pit, so that's the Malaysian Championship Series. It is, and Yui, Yui uh, is good mates with Ali Hamden, who's racing, uh, used to race in Porsche Carrera Cup Asia, and is yep. racing over there in a different support category this weekend. So I would suspect that might be Hamden and his various pit Cheering crew. So oh, that's great yeah. to see. Yeah, nice to see. Really good. Still committed into the uh, into the pit lane. Yeah, they, not, not willing to give a tenth on the way to the park the firm, eh? Fastest in lap in history, <laughs> racing to the podium. <laughs> no, be about half an hour before the next car gets <laughs> exactly. in. Exactly. No, well driven by everybody. You, yeah. you said it before, and I'd, I'll back that up. Really clean racing. Probably a bit of a concern by... This would be an interesting exchange, yes. won't it? A bit of a concern by some of the Australians that they'd be putting bent and busted race cars back in shipping containers to send them home, but what a great start. First of our two joint races, and there is the winner. To the applause from Pit Lane, the hot Sepang International Circuit. A really good race. Nui Tan, the first to win. Well, he's avoided Evan Chen as he much has. as he can by walking a little sideways right there is he going to go across and say hello yes he is there's Evan but, oh, just oh, oh, no you can't move the camera away just as we're about to see what the two championship a, rivals no, I think they're no, all right. I think they've shaken hands and that's good to see too because you know all the co competition aside you know these guys it's nice to see that as a general rule they'll, they'll have a beer together in the bar after the event 
and, uh, and celebrate a good weekend of racing. Really good drive, Tim Miles. Yeah. P3, but well represented for Porsche Carrera Cup Australia. Be thrilled with that performance. He'll be thrilled at beating Stephen Grove as well, I'm sure. But really good, clean driving. It seemed to me that the Aussie cars ran out of rear tyre a little bit earlier in that race. They were sliding around towards the end, and that's why especially Evan Chen was able to blaze his way through. So, Yeah, he did make great progress, didn't he? Really fantastic progress. Unfortunately for Evan Chen, there was one man who he couldn't catch, and it is that title rival. Uh, there is uh, Evan Chen now. Good result for him in P2, but there's only one winner, and on this occasion, it's Yui Tan. Yui, what a thrilling race from you. You started in P2, you overtook very early on, you led the race the entire way, and you got first place. Congratulations. Yeah, it was a good race today. Uh, glad I built one this morning, got a little bit of the confidence back here at Saipang. It's a great circuit, love being here. And uh, yeah, it was really good. We made a massive gap at the start of the race, but unfortunately the safety car came out, and I was saying all sorts of stuff. And then after that, the safety car went, we got a good start and managed to maintain it. So very happy with that. And uh, yeah, thanks very much uh, to Porsche China and Porsche Australia for putting such a magical race together for us. What a wonderful race. Congratulations on your win. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's very good by Yui. Basically, that's Yui putting his filter on for live television. <laughs> yeah, and you can imagine because when you pushed and got yourself a little gap like that, the last thing you want to see is the safety car. Yeah. Although, of course, we knew that everybody was on pretty well used tyres, so it wasn't so much a case of who's cooked them. It, it, I don't think it's quite as hot as it was yesterday either. No, I agree. I, he did a really, really good job on that restart, and that was critical on the run towards the end of that race, getting that margin after the restart and pulling away. Top driver for Porsche Carrera Cup Australia was Tim Miles, and Tim Miles is down with Virginia Mar now. So let's have a word with Tim and see how he enjoyed that. Tim, what a great race from you. You finished in P3 today. Yeah, I got those two guys had far too much for me. I just I tried to stick with Yui. He was just slowly gapping me, and then I don't even know who it was. It was when Evan caught up on, with me. There was no point fighting him. He had more car pace, so I thought I'd just let him go and then settle him behind him and get a podium. Yeah, but you, you, you placed in, in P3 today. Congratulations, and thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thank you to Career Cup Asia for having us over. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well said, Tim Miles. Couldn't agree with you more. He'll head up to the podium after the first of our two Porsche Invitationals, Pro-Am versus Tag Heuer Carrera Challenge. And just confirming results for you now. Just under 30 minutes of racing here at Sepang, and it's Yui Tan and Evan Chen. Well done, Porsche Carrera Cup Asia. They're one and two. Tim Miles and Stephen Grove, three and four. Not even said through gritted teeth. Well oh, done, Krause. You're a good sport. Try to be generous. We're okay. <laughs> we you got, wait for the pro race, yeah, oh, my No, I know. We've got the overall <laughs> still to come. Looking forward to it. So you can see the uh, back end of the grid on your screen right now. But Evan Chen, who finished in P2, is with uh, Virginia Mark. Let's have a chat with him. Evan, you secured a second place um, in the Invitational race. Congratulations. That was such a fierce, fierce competition. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, the Australians are really fast as well. So it's even harder to get past so many of them. But yeah, it kind of got lucky with the weather because it's not as hot. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be like a sauna in the, in the car. So yeah. yeah. It was easier to keep your concentration because the weather was, was nicer. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, it's colder now. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the race, you can just concentrate more. And at the end, you have more energy. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Congratulations at your podium position. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe Evan Tim Chen, Miles. yeah. Sorry, go on, yeah, Evan Chen uh, with, with, a, with a great result. And, yeah, go on, what are you going to say about Tim well, Miles? I was going to say, I don't think he'll be too disappointed about being beaten by a 23-year-old. And that's the only yeah. comment I'll make about Miles <laughs> yeah. Cage. He was happy, wasn't he? He said, to be fair, they had more pace than him. And, yeah. you know, that's, that's the way it goes. You say maybe their rear tyres went off a little bit quicker. And, you know, it might be that the, the Porsche Carrera Cup Asia guys have just got with that little bit more experience from their teams, even though some of the drivers have not been here before in terms of settings and things progressing. Maybe they got it just that little bit better. Again, the temperature's changed a lot. Look how overcast yeah. it is compared to even earlier earlier on today, you know, so it, it, those are the little tweaks which make a difference. When we came to Australia, you know, we couldn't get the job done and, and vice versa. So, you know, let's wait and see in the overall because for me, David Wall, double winner for Australia here and, and has been here. You said he's done the Sepang 12 hours. Yes. He's going to be a big threat. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be interesting to see what the pro teams learn out of this race, how much information they can mine out of this and plug into their car at the last minute before they, uh, uh, before they go out for their race in about... Oh, 25 minutes time, if that. So it's going to be very interesting. They'll make some quick changes. They'll learn a little bit, and we'll see how we go. Ah, so that's what happened to... Is that John, John Shen. Shen? Yeah, 
that broken front right corner yeah. of that car must have come from contact somewhere. Another super cool livery, so it's, you know, it's okay to end up in the gravel trap when your car looks as cool as that. It really <laughs> does look great. Yeah. It looks amazing. Not enough Tigers in Carrera Cup Australia. Yeah, no, it's pretty, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's got to be done. Got to be done. Well, Dan Jordan, who is uh, in charge of the Porsche Carrera Cup Australia, is uh, with Virginia Mart. So let's uh, have a chat with Dan. We, uh, we were his guests last year, and he is a guest of uh, ours this time. Welcome, Dan. We hope you enjoyed the weekend. Dan, wonderful race, uh, wonderful thing to be to be able to see Porsche Carrera Cup Asia against Porsche Carrera Cup Australia, and it's a great showcase for Porsche to have Australia here um, at the Invitational race. Um, for us, we've got, I guess, eight one make series, a great Carrera Cup series around the world. So to be able to, to bring two together um, from a regional point of view is fantastic for us, uh, and it's also an, uh, an awesome experience for our customers. Um, I guess for, it's something that they look forward to all year, and for now, they're just absolutely ecstatic. Thank you so much, Dan. Thanks. Thanks. Dan looking... Uh, pretty chuffed. Yeah, pretty chuffed. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. It is great to have you guys here. Just, you know, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed coming to Australia oh, last yeah. year. It's, it's been an extraordinary couple of days, and a lot of people came over here. Uh, you know, they talk about motor racing being a tourism thing. A lot of our drivers have been here since Monday. Yeah. So some came over on holiday, saw the sights in KL, around the region, moved out here on Thursday to go motor racing. So the trophy is being presented. Alex Chabot from Porsche Carrera Cup Asia presenting to... His drivers, which is nice. And shaking hands with everybody as well. So uh, final trophy still to come. And there's Michael Dreiser, one make boss, Porsche Motorsport. This is such a big weekend and you better believe they keep a close eye on this in Europe. All the one make formulas around the world follow what everyone else is doing. And I really think we do in many ways lead the way in this region of the world in Kura Cup Asia and Australia and the way that it's presented um, the production behind the scenes and the on-track product really is world-class. And this is proof of that because uh, Asia 1 and 2, Australia 3 and 4 in that race, but very evenly matched. And no worries about smelly yeah, race suits now. They can have at that. it on the podium. And Tim Miles, the first to get the champagne, uh, champagne cork popped. Evan Chan is the, the slowest off the mark there. He was, uh, <laughs> it was too, too late to start, and that's it now. And he manages to uh, give Tim Miles just a little bit of a shower at the end. Fantastic. Yui Tan then taking the first victory in the Invitational Race. Evan Chen is in P2 and Tim Miles in P3. You can join us very shortly indeed if you'd like to see what the overall drivers can do. They're in the pit lane. They're good to go. Stay with us. We'll be back soon. <laughs> 